Right, well, you find me on the new Yamaha MT-07. This one has the uh, sport pack on it. And uh, I was invited to take the demo out for a, a ride and see what I think of this little bike. So who am I to turn away an opportunity like that? So first thing we notice is that this is a very small bike, or it certainly feels small compared to the uh, bikes that I'm used to riding. It has the famous Yamaha CP2 engine. Personally, I think it's one of the best sounding engines on the market. Been around for a while now. It's in the, uh, the likes of the Tenere 700, XSR 700, and obviously been in the MT-07 for some time as well. So, this is one now does come with the uh, little TFT screen. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy. I don't think you really need it on this bike and it would be weird if I had a, you know, like the big 7 inch screen that's on the uh, Tracer for example. It just wouldn't look right at all. Everything you need on there and nothing more really. Coolant gear indicator, speed, revs, fuel, temperature. Right, so I'm going to take this one now for a, just a short blast along the dual carriageway and then we'll do a few twisties on the way back and see how that is as well. Nothing particularly exciting on this bike to the old uh, cable clutch, high and low beam lights, indicators, horn, <laughs> little meep meep horn <laughs> they're always so bad on motorbikes I don't know why and then we have a uh, a little menu roller dial over here and that's just adjusting things like your, your fuel and trip and stuff, nothing exciting there at all but it's the familiar purr of the CP2 engine not as smooth as the, uh, the CP3 I think but it does make a really nice noise. I do like a twin. MT-07 has been a really popular bike, I think, for uh, people who've just passed their test and moved on to the, uh, the bigger license. A great bike to start out on, I think. It's interesting that the uh, motorcycles, they, they got bigger and bigger up to, you know, 1100cc, the big 1300GS. And I think they've got to that point now where they've hit the top when it comes to power output. I definitely don't think what we need is more power anymore. I mean, this is just a, a little 700cc. It's reliable. It's got plenty enough power. No problem there. You're definitely still going to be quicker than most cars and stuff on the road. There's plenty enough power to get you out of situations and, and move on when you need to. And not so much power that it becomes a frustration. When you've got a really powerful bike, the problem is, is that you know it wants to go, go, go. And every other car is in your way all the time. And so you, you just don't get the opportunity to use it to its full potential. I think perhaps it's better sometimes to have a smaller engine and you get to rag that thing and enjoy it a little bit more, you know? This particular bike I'm riding does have the uh, Sport Pack on it, which comes with a few little things like uh, tank grips and um, some nice LED lights all around. The lights are really nice and what I like is the indicators are also running lights on this one as well with this pack. So. I think that's definitely a good idea. You, you want to be seen when you're riding a motorbike. And being that those lights are fitted to the bike anyway for use of the indicators, then it, surely it makes sense, doesn't it, that it's running lights as well? They're there anyway, might as well make use of it. But there we go, that was quite a nice little run on the dual carriageway. It wasn't uh, as windy as I expected actually, to be fair. It has got a little fly screen on this one. I believe that's part of this uh, sport pack that's on this one as well. No quick shifter on this bike, nothing fancy at all. 
just good honest old-fashioned fun got to be a little bit careful it is January and there's uh, there's been some ice about it's in the in the minuses in the morning so watching out for those bits of ice hiding in the shadows I must admit I think I'm becoming a bit of a fan of the uh, twin engines the parallel twin feels a, a nice familiar rumble <gasps> Ugh, fucking hell that was a pheasant or something I hit then. There was no dodging that one. I went right over him. Well, that was grim. So that could have been much worse. So fourth gear, 50 mile an hour. I rolled on the throttle. Plenty of power there for an overtake. No problem at all. Yeah, anybody thinking that perhaps the 700 isn't going to be enough for them. I think would be um, definitely mistaken there's plenty of power there no problem oh it's ice, it's ice you need to be so careful there is ice all over the road I think what I like most about these uh, 700cc bikes is that you feel like you're having fun, you feel like you're really riding the bike, you know, you get to work the gears and, you know, and give it a bit of gas and stuff, and because the engine isn't so big, you get to do that, you know, whereas with the, the bigger bikes, so the, the 900 for example, you know, a little tickle of the throttle and you're away at blistering speeds, uh, it doesn't happen so much on this one, it's got plenty enough power, but... Um, Looks like you actually get to give it a flick of the wrist and enjoy it, you know? So... We'll try to enjoy the twisties. Don't forget about the paranoia of hitting ice. I'm not the lightest guy. And this bike shifts along just fine with me sounding, no problem. Stops, handles well. Yeah, I think this is quite a nice simple machine but does everything reasonably well. Not too many frills but it has a nice uh, low price tag that reflects that. So we'll pull over in a second, have a look around the bike, see what we think of it before taking it back to the, uh, the dealers in Marsh Barton Exeter who've been kind enough to let me take this out so I'd like to thank Yamaha Marsh Barton Exeter great guys really friendly actually really encouraging me to take the bikes out and uh, experience the Yamahas and try it out so yeah top guys right well we just pulled up into a car park so let's take a look at the bike so something I noticed just now about the bike is that there's no key here the key is hidden in behind the dash so it makes it very awkward to find the key you definitely need to get off and uh, go and get it Right, so let's have a look at this then, MT-07, this one has the fly screen up front, here's those uh, really nice LED running lights I was talking about, I think that's a great use of space, we've got the indicators anyway, so we should be using those, really nice blue wheels there, they're looking smart, usual Nissan 4 pots I think they are for the brakes. CP2 engine from Yamaha, tried and tested, we don't need to say anything about that, fantastic engine. Really nice looking exhaust on that one, not too big and ugly like a lot of the manufacturers are going. So this is the sportier looking bike. So not too much for the seat really. It is uh, quite a small bike, physically small. I'm only five foot seven and I did feel a little bit cramped on this one. Let's have a look at the dash. Really nice display on that, everything's clear. But there's nothing more there than what you actually need, it is quite basic really. 
we do have a little menu swiddle here and that's just changing things like the trip and you know fuel and coolant and all the rest of it so nothing too exciting there so we'll start her up for you have a little listen Very familiar sound from Yamaha there. All in all, a really nice looking bike. Anybody would be happy to own that one, I think. Thank God for heated gloves, I tell you. Be suffering without these today. Right then. Let's go and enjoy the MT-07 just a little bit more before I take it back. This thing feels so light and nimble. A real refreshing change from the big adventure bikes. I think something that probably should be standard on motorbikes now is heated grips, you know. I mean, I'm really missing it now. It is properly cold today. But I was just thinking to myself, you know, why aren't they here for what they cost? You know, it's not a lot of money. Why isn't it fitted to every bike now, really? It should be a standard, don't you think? There's definitely no issues with power. The 700 is plenty. It's ample for what you need on the UK roads. They're just fantastic bikes. They've proven to be so reliable. In fact, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Yamaha is number one in uh, when it comes to reliability on the charts now. Overtaken Honda. I suspect if you bought one of these it would last you a very long time provided you looked after it and for those who aren't massive fans of the tech well there isn't too much on this one so not so much to go wrong either so it is a, it's quite a basic bike but that's not to say that that's a bad thing right well I'm going to return this bike back now to uh, Yamaha in Exeter Marsh Barton once again, I'd really like to thank those guys. They've been fantastic. Give me the opportunity to ride these bikes. Really top guys. And, uh, you know, I recommend to anybody. It's okay watching reviews. And I'm sure you're interested in this bike. That's why you're watching it. But you really need to get out and ride one for yourself. It's such a personal thing. This is just one man's opinion. And, uh, you know, hopefully it answers some questions for you. But, uh, yeah, try to get out and ride one yourself. So thanks for joining me on the MT-07 and I'll see you again on the road next time.